I'm actually banking this up on the pole a little bit so that when water does come downhill it'll actually run around the pole and down. Um, but that took 10 bags to get that like that. But I think that once this sets up this thing will be pretty sturdy especially when I get the cross bracing on it. So I was just waiting for a, a non-rainy day to get this in the ground. Of course it's supposed to rain this evening so that will even help it better. Um, that will soak in real well and then it will begin to dry from the inside out. So I think that the timing was just right. everyone and welcome back edition one summer break here we will cut a new grate for the outdoor kitchen step I believe that'll go in there, but I have to repair these two blocks first because they actually came out. I wanted to cement them in, but I don't have any. So we'll try this fireproof caulking. See if we can put that grate in there. Put a little tiger seasoning on your bacon. Okay guys, it was Jennifer's big idea to run down here to our other garden area and cut some lettuce, right? Right. So we're gonna go down there and get us some fresh lettuce for these 
BLTs. Did we ever decide whether we wanted fried egg to go on there too? No, we didn't decide. But uh, I tell you what, I, I just wonder if we're gonna even find any lettuce. I think that the fried egg would be good, so I think I'll stop by the cabin on the way back up there and we will get us um, some fresh eggs too. I don't know if we're gonna find any lettuce. We might, we might not find any lettuce at all. Um, we'll be lucky if we do. We'll just cut us a few pieces right here. I'll tell you what, this is sure nice to be able to come down here and just, this is like going shopping, you know, at the grocery store. We got us some, I think about two a piece, don't you Jennifer? Sure. Funny thing is guys, I don't really like lettuce that much. But now leaf lettuce I love. So I'm pretty excited. None of that iceberg stuff. Shoo. Okay. We got some lettuce. All right, we go wash that off. All right, I made a short pit stop. And I got us some eggs. So we can have some bacon, eggs, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches. Anyway. Let me get up here and I'll be right back with you shortly. Yeah. Well, hey guys, this is my sister, Susie. Y'all know the jester over here, Jennifer. What, what up? You're not mixing mayonnaise and mustard, are you? I am. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Anyway, um, we've made us some eggs to go with our BLT, so they've actually become what you call belts. Anyway, I'm gonna start with a egg. Get whichever egg you want. No, go ahead. Lay the egg on there. Get me a couple of pieces of this fresh lettuce that we just went and got. Lay that on top. People like mayo. I like the mustard. Have at it. There's okay. more right here. I'll give thanks okay. before we eat. Lord, we thank you for this food. We ask that you bless this day. We ask that you also bless the food to nourish our bodies. We're thankful for all your many blessings. We ask that you forgive us of our sins and our shortcomings. We'll give you the glory, honor, and praise in Christ's name. Amen. 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 It tastes like a a belt. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know about it. Hmm? I said I don't know about it. I don't even know if you'd be able to get your mouth around that. Tell me what it tastes like. Good, it tastes good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What'd you say? All right, guys, we'll eat this up and we'll be right back with you. Mmm, boy. Jennifer talked me into taking you all up here and letting you see the garden after this big rain that we've had. So I was a bit surprised myself. You smell the cabbage for sure. Okay, that right there is the cucumbers. I mean to tell you, they have really taken off. And this cabbage, I mean just look at the size of these cabbages right here. And then I've got cauliflower and stuff that is getting so tall. Look at this. It just can't even stand up anymore. It's getting so tall, so I'm going to have to um, put something 
down in there where um, it doesn't cause it to uproot or anything. Um, but they just, they went bananas after this last rain. And take a look at some of these tomato plants here. I mean, the height of these things, um, and they've got, like, like she was saying, they got blossoms everywhere. They got little tomatoes right here hanging. This one's about the size of a quarter. Um, so I'm gonna have lots of tomatoes. Let me show you the onions. I mean, check out those onions too. I've got some that are already starting to form the little bulbs on the bottom and they are so tall. I mean, look at this. Look at the size of that right there. There's a little mushroom. I don't like mushrooms, so I pull them all up. But yeah, I mean, the onions have gone crazy. I think next year I'm gonna plant them a little bit closer together and I'll be able to get a lot. Now I do have to come up here and I have to pull some weeds uh, because that rain, it really brought a lot of the weeds out. But I'll tell you what guys, um, I think that this hay helped a whole lot in retaining the moisture that we got from the rain and uh, helped the garden grow quite a bit. Yeah, my beans are actually coming up really well. I've also, let's walk down here and take a look at these pepper plants. The pepper plants are also coming on really strong. The cayenne uh, peppers, they're already producing, um, which they're a little bit smaller plant. These plants right here are, some of them are banana peppers. Some of them are the red and the, and the yellow bell peppers. I've got some habanero and some jalapenos mixed in here too, but I mean everything is going crazy. Even the potatoes. You remember the potatoes, right? Isn't it amazing what the rainwater, um, actual natural rainwater will actually do even though I water them and, and it, the garden, I was doing it every day and the garden did come on really strong but you know this rainwater of course it soaks everything right um, but yeah I mean to tell you over the week uh, of the rain it's like the garden actually doubled y'all remember those little bitty blackberry vines the thornless ones that I got from my neighbor that I planted well that's them they have actually taken off some of the little sprouts have grown that high I even have some green sprouts on some of the original uh, stems and roots that I actually brought up here but pretty much that's brand new growth from the root up so they have really taken he told me not to plant them very deep and I didn't uh, they're probably only about this deep in the ground uh, but they are doing extremely well so I need to bring a, uh, some string down here and tie them up too so that they Grow and probably put another trellis uh, or another horizontal piece midway but uh, I'm gonna be excited about having some of those uh, blackberries the big ones like your thumb to go along with the strawberries that we've gotten more than likely it's not gonna be till next year but that's really gonna be good so anyway that's just a little garden tour of what we got growing on uh, growing up here on the homestead
Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. We managed to get uh, quite a bit accomplished. Um, we got the lumber sawed up for that top deck for the tower up there. We actually got the ladder burned and got the oil put on that as well. So that's going to help out and the grill grate up there at the cabin. So all of these little bitty things, um, they just make everything better living out here on the homestead. Guys, thank you so much for uh, stopping by. We really appreciate it. We hope that you take care. Each and every one of you have a great day. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.